I'm playing through the Nintendo Switch Online NES catalog. After playing an hour of The Adventures of Lolo, have I had enough, or do I want to keep going? The Adventures of Lolo is a block-pushing puzzle game released in 1989. Presentation-wise, it's not the most impressive. That means that everything is riding on the gameplay for this one. Unfortunately, when I first started playing, it was unclear what the objective even was. There was a snake-like creature, two heart tiles, and a chest. I couldn't push any tiles, and collecting the heart piece didn't seem to have any effect. Eventually, I realized that the heart piece had given me some type of ammo, which let me progress, but it was way too easy to overlook. This lack of clarity permeates the game. However, as I began to figure out how each of the power-ups and different enemy types worked, the puzzles surprisingly began to get a lot more interesting and rewarding. Well, I'm actually gonna keep playing. While it was initially frustrating due to unclear objectives, the puzzles are designed well enough that they give a real sense of satisfaction when you complete them. Thanks for watching.